This is Kenneth. This is Anthony. And today we're going to be talking about Facebook AR Studio. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, this is something Facebook has recently emphasized. Um, a quick rundown, Facebook AR Studio is almost a copycat of Snapchat's um, Lens platform for AR development. And so it's a major play. Um, strategically speaking, the fact that it's almost a copycat development environment means that people who have worked on Snap's platform before um, will feel very at ease um, in developing for Facebook's platform. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of our business um, audience, what are some of the differences about developing on Facebook relative to, let's say, Unity um, and what are some of the strategic considerations that come with it? Yeah. On Facebook, um, I mean, people just have to understand Facebook Studio is built for people to, to design things for Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so everything around it is around like pictures, um, obviously selfies and things like that. Unity is made as a, a robust development environment. So you can build <laughs> entire games with physics, all of that is baked into a platform like Unity. You can do like almost anything you can imagine in Unity. You can make like short films. Facebook Studio, on the other hand, is not necessarily made for, like, say, a, a coder. It's made for someone to, you know, if they have a small brand and they just want to make their own little selfie and put it on Facebook as a platform, they can use Facebook Studio to do, you know, something like that. Sure. And you alluded to the physics. Um for Unity, there is no physics really for Facebook. And can you kind of describe what are some things that don't make sense for building on Facebook's platform because of the lack of physics? Yeah, yeah. So the Facebook AR Studio is, is again, made for like just pretty much uh, like photo sharing things like that. Uh, what was your question again? What, what well, specific well, What are certain students? things that like, let's say as a business, that you might want to have built with Unity that you can't or probably shouldn't right, do right. with Facebook. So again, like um, uh, your own app okay. with like button clicks that would lead to some interaction or some type of game. Uh -huh. Anything too complicated is not gonna work on Facebook Studio. Yeah. Because again, Facebook Studio is just meant for selfies. And, and certain effects, um, I guess I wasn't direct enough. Like let's say if a ball drops in Unity, um, there are colliders. Um, the other thing is that it would bounce if it falls on the floor naturally. And as a developer, you don't really have to think about this. If you want to have the effect of like, let's say a ball dropping in a selfie experience um, for Facebook, you kind of have to just program for the ball to go up and down, but it doesn't naturally kind of like bounce up and down until it loses friction. Um, so the other thing that's really interesting in terms of strengths for Facebook, um, Facebook has um, a strong platform for facial tracking that's default, and it's not there for Unity. And the other thing is they have hand tracking. Can you talk about both of these things and some of the experiences that can be built from a brand's perspective that might want to make an ad on Facebook and you know what these features entail? Yeah, so this kind of goes into the strength of Facebook Studio. They just wanted to give people a simple way to create cool uh, little photo experiences um, so that brands could share it with their, uh, their customer base. So face tracking is something that a lot of us are familiar with. Mm -hmm. Selfies, you put hats on yourself, uh, you know, masks, makeup, things like that. Um, then there's hand tracking. Hand tracking is a little a newer. Um, hand tracking will let you give you the ability to put up your hand and then maybe like a can of Coke shoots to it or a can of Budweiser shoots to it. Mm -hmm. And then the third main feature that um, Facebook Studio lets you do is do um, body cutout. So you can cut out your body and then put yourself um, maybe not in your office but at the Staples Center, right? So now Staples Center can get um, you know some brand awareness. Mm -hmm. So those three things are essentially what they made very easy for someone to build um, within Facebook Studio, so that you can activate your brand either in a Facebook ad or a shareable photo content, shareable photo content that can be used later.
Sure. And I guess as a final note to combine everything you said, an example of something you can do on Facebook that might make a lot of sense is you can have something where you have a cutout of someone's body and you can have them in like different vacation destinations. Let's say you're an airline. Yeah. And with the hand gestures, you can have something where if they wave like this, the scenery changes. Let's say from like Hawaii to like Paris. And you can have a shareable experience like this combined with some form of contest. And it can be something that can potentially spread out and maybe go viral if you're lucky. Um, any other final notes from you on Facebook Studio? Yeah, um, yeah, last thing is just like when we think of Facebook Studio, it's more of, more of an extension of stickers than like going from like, oh, how do you build a game in Facebook? It's more of like, oh, there were these simple things called stickers and Facebook wanted to expand on what you could do in a make selfie. It, yeah. Exactly, make it more robust from that end. Uh -huh. um, and that's essentially where Facebook Studio exists in terms of like a development environment. Uh huh. Yeah. And I, I think the final note is that I think they're actively going after Snap's um, advertising base or revenue generating base. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, they straight ripped stories um, for Instagram. And the AR, Facebook AR Studio platform is so similar to Lens that it means that developers for Snap doing campaigns for them could potentially jump ship really easily. Yeah. But they'd have the additional advantage of the additional kind of tracking and segmentation features that are more robust on Facebook. So, you know, if you're doing a campaign that's kind of selfie based on Snapchat, but you're kind of disappointed with your targeting options, Facebook is kind of throwing out the welcome wagon for you. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.